How do you also look, Trader? And today we're taking a look at another limited edition GW book. This is Incarnation, is the second book in the Illusion Wars series. And this book was printed, the original print was 2018, but the limited edition run on uh, Leatherbound was early to mid 2020. So uh, let's take a look. So if you've seen the first book in my previous video, which I'll have a link to posted, the book hasn't changed much. And honestly, the limited edition, the only thing that's different with her is she's blue instead of red, which actually kind of nice. You kind of have a crimson fisty style blue. I kind of like it, it's a dark blue. So we have leather here. Preston, you know, little scores, all the scores, the Inquisition Eye, Imperial Eagle, and some other fineries. Let's go over the spine. On the spine, so have the eye for these little base pieces. And then you have on the score, you have a two. Representing this is the second book in the series. Which is kind of nice if you look at them on the shelf. You got one, two. I'm also waiting for the third and et cetera, et cetera books in the series to come out so I can have more pretty things on my shelf. And if you flip on over to the back, we have Salvation is a Dream that has lost its way. Which is a ironically accurate quote and kind of scary in this time. But I digress. So, on the, on the pages, most of your books usually have a have gold, a gold inlay, gold leaf on here. All we have here is, uh, same as the first book, a roll of scores. Down here. Some papyrus and paper, the English and I, more scores, and more scores for the score film. So unlike the first book, which had a black bookmark, this one has a purple and gold. Which is funny, because the book is blue, but that is purple. But I've had the debate with my roommate, uh, he says that is blue, I say this is purple. So, on the opening cover, we have a picture of the Inquisitor. Which is the exact same as the first book. So a lot of this book has been copy and pasted. I wonder if GW did that um, just to streamline things, make it easier. I mean, they're pretty much exact copies, you know, minus the fancy words in the middle, which is the important part. So this was done by John French, and this is a signature. So as you can see here, this is book 263 of 750. So if you remember back to my first video on this series, there was a thousand limited edition books. So, you know, 750 and 1,000 is 250 number difference here. So that means 250 of the original book series are sitting on shelves by the lonesome. They will not have a sibling with them. That might sound dumb to a lot of you, but to me that is really depressing. So we'll continue on with my sadness. We have the Inquisitor, two more members of his retinue here, and a very nice picture. Title page. And then here we have a list of good reads for other books on the Inquisition. So I recommend The Eisenhower and Ravenna. If you haven't read those two, you need to read them. They open up a lot more in depth on the Inquisition. So a lot of the stuff you read in this book, if you don't have a knowledge of GW prior or knowledge of the Inquisition prior, a lot of the stuff would be kind of odd to you. But if you read these two book series, they will make a lot more sense. Now I digress. So after here, you know, we have the standard legality page. But yeah, after that, it's kind of depressing. It's, you know, nothing else special. So, flip onto the back. And again, we have another picture of the Inquisitor. So that's all for this book. Um, nothing too special, nothing too exciting. But this was a little trader, and uh, thank you for watching. And ladies and gentlemen, I will see you on the flip side. Toodles.